And then, of course, Daily Telegraph, uh, which is really where, I guess, you sharpened your political antenna, would you say? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I subscribe to that sort of keep moving thing that you mm. can wear out your welcome very easily. So I always used to like... Uh, I'd say, oh, God, you know, uh, the old Mark Stein is washed up here in the UK. I'll tell you what, I'll go try Canada for a couple of years. That shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe Australia. I don't think I've ever, uh, I don't think I've ever made it to New New Zealand. But, uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty big. Actually, I'm big in the Solomon Islands for a reason I don't fully (laughs) understand. Well, they love your show on YouTube, don't they? But, Mark, you're not going anywhere. You've got to stick around at GB News, please. No, this... A good while yet, because there's important issues at stake. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what GB knew. I'm astonished at the, the sort of uh, lockdown group think. I look at all mm. these guys, even the guys who pretend to be different are all saying the same thing. And that's, that's the thing about GB News is to expand that shrunken, shriveled public discourse there. Pear. Well, Mark, thank you so much for working late tonight. <laughs> I feel very guilty <laughs> because I know how much prep you do. But, of course, that vaccine damage special is going to be here at 8 p.m., on GB News. It really is going to be unmissable.